Parliament met this morning with the first order of the day, the Speaker's response to a matter raised by member for Tewai Siasi, Kobe Bomareo, regarding a Facebook post by Madang MP Brian Kremer. The Chair has considered the responses given by various individuals to the Facebook post by the Honourable Member for Medang and has come to the conclusion that some of the responses clearly reflect the diminished respect for the Parliament. Therefore, Honourable Members, the Chair is satisfied that there is a prima facie case of breach of privilege on the part of the Member for Medang, Honourable Brian Kramer, and accordingly, the Chair now refers the Honourable Member to the Committee of Privileges pursuant to Standing Order 98. Parliament Speaker Job Pomat began by handing down his decision on a request to refer Mr Kramer to the Parliamentary Privileges Committee. Whilst the Speaker was delivering his decision, a point of order was raised by Opposition Leader Patrick Pruaich. As far as I can recollect, there was no statement by the Minister on the floor of Parliament with regard to this. There was no statement whatsoever. He only made that statement outside of Parliament as a minister, not on the floor of Parliament. The opposition members then walked out of the chamber, which subsequently saw the chamber erupt in a shouting match, with emotions running high on both sides of the House. Order. Order. The opposition held a media conference immediately after walking out of the chamber with its members criticizing the decision of the Speaker to refer Mr. Kramer to the Parliamentary Privileges Committee. That speaker's, Speaker has compromised his job. He is allowing executive government to dictate to him on what to do on the floor of Parliament. It's unreal, people of Papua New Guinea. It must be impartial all the time. The chair must be neutral. What else is available for the people of this country to air their grievances in relation to policies of government, decisions of government? We say that our democracy will be compromised by this government, and the speaker is now the instrument of the executive government. Uh, if individual members of parliament, uh, especially those on government, uh, think that they are a protected species and are not liable to be critiqued, uh, then how can we as opposition do our job? Yeah. So we think that that is a fundamental, uh, it's an attack on the fundamentals of the way of government as we have it now. The opposition went further to claim that the move by the speaker compromised the independence of the legislature with claims that this was all in line with moves to clamp down on free speech by the government. They're basically complaining about their feelings of being hurt. Being hurt because someone said something that they feel has offended them or demeaned them in some way. But this comes with the territory. When you're a leader, you're going to get criticized. That's normal. Donald Trump gets criticized, you know. The Australian Prime Minister gets criticized. And they take it. They don't go and refer these matters to the parliamentary privileges